Hello fellow music people, welcome to a brand new sound design tutorial. I'll be teaching you guys how to make some synth plucks using both Citrus and Harmless. So, um, before I get into that, let me just quickly show you how to get like a fundamental plug sound through 3x oscillator, which is a pretty basic and very easy plugin to use when you're starting off. So, so we want to turn the envelope on, um, and then a lot of a lot of plugins will have knobs or sliders, um, but in this case, I am using knobs. So just want to pull the attack all the way back. Sometimes they may have a hold knob or slider, um, but you can just tap it off. You don't really need it. Um, your sustain you. Uh, you can have maybe just a tiny bit of sustain or just have it off completely. Um, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just compare the little bit of sustain and then decay. This is your most important, um, your most important knob. Um, you just want to pull it, pull it all the way, maybe down to one fifth of it. Uh, let me just play. So, so now you're getting that really plucky sound. Um. And then if you have if your plugin has like a tension knob, you can um, you can play with it. I recommend you just kind of experiment, see which you like the which sound you like the most. So I think I like that one the most. And then for your release, you just um, I would just recommend having a little bit of release or no release at all. Um, and then this is what the sustain completely turned off. Um, there you go. So I think you get my point now. All right, let's get rid of this now since we don't need it anymore. Now let's move on to Citrus, which I have used before in my previous video. Very good plugin. So, um, so you want to have one operate, at least one operator and one filter operator. Um, uh, but for this first one, I'll just use um, one operator. So, so for your basic um, shape, you just want it something like this, kind of like uh, what you saw in three three X oscillator. But um, you kind of just have more flexibility here, so you can really you can really move around stuff much much easier. Um, So I think I really like the sound here. Um, uh, the thing with Citrus is that you can actually customize your, your wave shape. So you can do it through here um, or just move stuff around here. So I find that, uh, which one is, I think it's skew. Yeah, I really like um, just moving the skew slider just a little bit. Um, that sounds good to me. Um, um, it's a little bit too loud, so I might turn it down a bit, but. So there you go. Um, that's like a tropical house pluck or just like a simple marimba sound. Um, so this sounds really good with low, with lower octaves, so. There you go. You can also use this for bass plucks if you want. I believe if you. That doesn't sound too bad, but. We don't really need to worry about FM knobs for now. We'll just leave it like that. And then I'll show you the effects tab later, but. Um, for now, let's just move on to a new sound. So we'll just reset it back to default. Make sure I lower this because this can get very loud. So this time we're going to switch to a song wave, which is a very popular um, wave shape. Um, so this time you want to do one, one operator and one filter. So I'll be using the filter operator or, or tab, whatever it's called. I'll, I'll be using the filter tab for this sound here. So. It's still pretty loud, but I'll just lower it a little bit. Uh, let's go here. 
Um, um, let me turn this on and make that. Can I stop hitting the LFO tab on accident? Okay. Oh, that sounds awful. Okay. Just make sure you have little to no release because it can really mess up your sound. Uh, I just realized I'm on the wrong tab. Oops. Um, okay. There you go. That sounds much better. So that is your typical pluck pattern. Again, you can have a little bit of release if you want. But I'm just going to leave it off for now. Um, so now what I like to do here is... Oh yeah, make sure you have band limit on, because if I turn it off, you might hear some weird artifacts in the high end. So just make sure you make sure you turn it on, and then right here you can very much customize your wave shape. So I find that I find that playing with the tension can help, and then maybe just lowering a little bit of the sign or of the the wave shape can get rid of the high end. Um, I don't know, this sounds fine to me, so I'll just leave it like that. So now let's go back to the main tab. Um, so right here you got your unison. You have a bunch of like, you have some presets here that you can use. I find that detuned sounds the best to me. Um, So there you go, that sounds pretty good. Um, so maybe just four voices sounds fine. Um, That sounds good. So let's go back to our filter tab. So, um, so let me just make sure I lower that. So now we're gonna go to our cutoff envelope, and we're just gonna do what we did in our volume envelope, except um, you don't want the release, so you can just get rid of that if you want. So now you're starting to get that um, that initial plucky sound that you that you hear a lot. Um, I think I'll just leave the envelope um, not at center. Maybe just a little bit of resonance just to. I think that sounds good. Okay. Um, so I think I'll just get rid of the tension curve. I think I'll, that, that sounds the best to me, just having a little bit of this pull down. So, so that's what I like the most. And then, yeah, that, that looks good. So now you can add some effects if you want. So I think I'm going to have this knob just halfway pointing to the right. Uh, make sure you have this chorus down, or you can have it on, whatever you want. But reverb is what really brings the sound to life, so. So that sounds pretty good already, but you can um, go here. You got some presets that you can use. So I find that the default one sounds good. Also the small studio sounds very good as well. So I think I like small studio the most, but you can then uh, you can play around with the the color here, make it brighter if you want, or or just have like the low end of the reverb play. But I think having that at flat sounds the best to me. So I'll just leave it like that for now, and then you can add delay. I 
that sounds pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to turn it off for now. And that's that's really it um, for, for Citrus. So. so now that we're done with that, let's move on to Harmless. So this... Um, this is another really cool plugin for making pluck sounds just because you already have a pluck knob. It's right there in front of you. You can... Uh, I should probably turn this down. I'll just do it through here. However, that doesn't sound too loud. Okay. Um, so, just by playing around with this pluck knob can make a big difference in your in your sound. Play around with the decay knob. Um, right here, you got all your all your wave shapes here. So I I find that deep face saw too. And square two both sound the best to me, but you can really just pick whichever you want. If you want like maybe a, a lead sound or just with high end frequencies, I would suggest double saw or triple saw. I think triple saw is probably the best for maybe a lead sound, but I think for now I'll just stick with square tooth. I think that's a good, um, I think those are good settings right here. So, so next you got a, you got your, your filter knob right here. Um, you got a bunch of options right here for, <clears throat> for whatever filters you want. So I personally find I don't know, I just like the classic one the most. Um, I find that the rest of these can, I don't know, they're just very negligible to me. They don't really make too much of a difference, but but I think leaky low pass is also a good option. Because if you just, if I just compare real quick. Um, so you see um, leaky low pass kind of keeps some of the high end. There you go. So, um, hold on. Just need to. Okay, it's still. Cause I accidentally pressed the key to like end the recording, but whatever. Or I, or so I thought I did. Okay. Um. Uh. What was I? Oh yeah. So. So yeah, leaky low pass. Um, good option or classic. But you can really just play around with these if you want. Also, phaser sounds really good too. So. So that one can be something to play around with. So I'll just go back to the classic one and then you got your resonance knob right here. Um, I don't know. Um, none of these really work for me. So I, I think I just like the, the standard one. There's also this, so you can... Hmm, interesting. Um, you can do it on per octave or per hertz. Um, I don't know, just, just another option you can play around with. So, right here you got your unison. So, this is just like the one in Citrus. Um, you got um, the amount of unison you want. And then you got your options here. I think four sounds the best. Um, you can have it blurred. I like blur the most. You also have this um, option in Citrus. So actually, I can go here and show you real quick. So I forgot to show this, but yeah, right here you got multiple options to how you want your unison to be distributed. So so there you go. Um, I really like the sound so far. Um, you got your effects here again, so these are the same exact presets as are the as the ones in Citrus. So, like I said, I like Small Studio the most. So 
So there you go. Um, you also got classic, which I also said I like. That sounds really cool. Um, and then just some more options you can play around with. You got your your harmonic mask. So if we turn this up, let me actually let's just compare real quick. So let me turn off the reverb because I feel like that's too distracting. You can really hear it there with the higher notes. Um, If I turn this up more, you'll. I don't know. I I find the first six um, harmonics to make a big difference, but yeah, they seem to make a big difference to me. But you can definitely play around with this, get some cool, unique sounds. You also got your sub harmonics, so you can make like a like a bass sound with. With this first one especially, yeah, I, I just like the first one the most, but yeah. And then this is just, I don't know how, I think if you have like, I don't, I don't know how this works exactly, but I think this is kind of like a, if you decide to like filter it out, it'll keep some of the low. I don't know, something like that. Um, I'll just leave it at default. But but there you go. That's pretty much the basics on how to make um, synth flux using harmless. You can also take any existing plugins and just kind of turn them into plugs. So as an example, I'll just show you one sound that I really like the most, which is this one right here. So it's a really cool sound, but it's got, I don't know, just too much like um, sustain in it. So, so just pulling this back can really, like it just sounds a lot better in my opinion. So the decay and the pluck are the two knobs that can turn any sound into just, into just a simple pluck sound. Um, I find that it works the best with basses, keyboards, and leads. Um, I haven't really tested it out with pads and atmosphere, but, you know, I'm sure this will work with most sounds, but, but there you go. That's pretty much it for Harmless. Um, so Flex, uh, this one everybody gets for free. So if you just have the free edition, you should get this for free. Um. Right here, there's actually a bunch of free plug sounds that you can use, and they're all very good, very usable. I've used this one the most. I've used it in a song recently, so you can definitely play around with these if you want. I might make a follow-up video on some like cool tricks you can do with plug sounds, so because I've definitely done some cool stuff with this before, with this sound especially, so. So yeah, stay tuned for that if I decide to make that follow video. But but yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And if you want to request maybe another sound design video that I can make in the future, feel free to do so. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. See you guys next time. Peace.